Hello, my name is Terry Martin with ICS Pentruder. Today we're going to talk about Pentruder wall saws. And first we're going to talk about our flagship model, the 820HF 4 speed with a 30 horsepower motor. The features of this saw include quick disconnect, blade flange, 4 speed compact gearbox, a capacity for blade diameters up to 79 inches, cutting 36 inches deep. It also runs very efficiently off of 40 volt three phase generators. Industry proven over the many years it's been out, it, it's very reliable when running from 40 volt three phase generators. The four speed gearbox has an RPM range of 405 to about 1165 and it's variable speed in all four gears. We'll get into the actual gear part of it a little bit later. A 35 kilowatt generator being the minimum size that you need, you do want to consider if you're running an electric flat saw to talk to your manufacturer of the electric flat saw to see what they require. Typically you need more kilowatts to run the electric flat saw than you do a pentruder wall saw. But again, 35 kilowatt, three phase, 60 cycle generators will run this very efficiently with a 50 amp circuit breaker. And then we'll move on to some of the construction methods of the saw. You see bill of aluminum components. This is aerospace quality bill of aluminum. The gears and the shafts that are inside of this saw are high quality alloys. When we talk about the quality of the components, what we're trying to say is when a wall saw is cutting, we want as little flexing and movement as possible so the blade will stay square in the cut. So you can see throughout this system, especially in the track and the, the body of the saw, the rigidity is second to none. I mean, right now I have it bolted to a table, typical anchors, you, you can, can't really move it at all. So that keeps your blade in the cut and it stops it from doing this. So robbing horsepower away from the spindle when the blade is, is wobbling in the cut, causing issues with how a saw performs of any manufacturer if the blade is rubbing or not cutting straight. So again, the, the quality of the components is one of the things that Pentruder is very proud of. They make nearly all of the components in-house, so the quality control is, is there. By controlling the manufacturing process from start to finish, the result is a, a stronger, lighter, more reliable wall saw. It's gonna perform better on the job, you're gonna get more cutting done in a shorter period of time, and the longevity lifespan of the saw is gonna be a lot longer than our competitors' cast aluminum products. I fully expect you to be able to saw with this for another 10, 12, 15 years properly maintained. Simply change the oil, you know, keep an eye on loose components and replace them as needed. Um, ICS Pintruder, the facility is located here in Chandler, Arizona. We keep a full stock of spare parts. Overnight delivery is available. We also have a full service center if you want to send the saw in and we can turn it around very quickly for you, get it back in your hands so you're cutting again. We offer dedicated technical service and support either by phone or by email or both. If you have a problem on the job, you call or email and we'll get back to you usually within 30 minutes. That kind of service is hard to find because when you're on the job, you really need help if the saw stops running and sometimes we'll be able to get you up and running while you're still on the job. Could be a simple, simple thing to get you back in cutting. Otherwise, we can identify which part is needed for the saw and you can either send the saw in and have us replace the part or we can send the part to you and fully support you on how to replace that part. We can do that through email, we can do it by phone, 
FaceTime many different methods that we've employed to keep you guys keep you guys cutting and making more revenue. Rigid system components, we're going to talk about that a little bit more. When it happens with the high quality components that we use, we're creating a more efficient system that reduces drag, reduces friction, which in turn reduces heat for a better cutting experience. If we're maximizing the horsepower of 30 horsepower coming from our high frequency motor here and we have dyno tested the saws to, and they deliver 30 horsepower at the spindle. So in order to maximize that power at the spindle, the components that are driving it need to be the best they can be. And a couple things I can show you here is we talk about aerospace quality bill of aluminum, but also the methods that are employed by state-of-the-art machinery in the manufacturing process. These housings are far superior than anything else out there. They last longer. They don't twist as much or at all compared to some of the cast components. You can see our gears are rally car tested. This is an industry where Pentruder also makes rally car gears and transmissions. So those gearboxes are hammered pretty hard. You can see we use cylinder roller bearings for a stronger, longer life. The gear teeth are nearly mirror finish. This is one section of the four speed gearbox. You can see how everything is precision ground and mirror finish again on the gears. That promotes longer life on the gears. It, it promotes better oil dispersion on the gear tooth base. So in turn, the friction and the horsepower losses that are experienced by lesser quality gears and lesser quality housings doesn't happen with pen tutor saws. So again, the rigidity is an important component. I mean, you can see the rigidity of this saw is gonna equal more cutting, faster cutting, and longer life of the components. Focusing on uh, some of the features that are very nice to have on a wall saw. First one being the blade flange is a quick release patented design. You can see on the back side here, this slips over the spindle there. This flange can stay on the blade itself. So you're taking the whole blade and the flange and slipping it over and use a eight millimeter Allen wrench, T-handle. And tighten it from the back. This is very convenient, especially when flush cutting. You can actually mount the saw to the wall and mount it where you don't have to have the blade on the saw trying to mount it all at the same time. You can mount the blade after everything is secured to the wall. The other feature is the swiveling track feet. What this allows you to do is you can mount four track feet to the wall or to the floor. And without loosening an anchor bolt, you can swivel the track to all four positions and make the cut. You can leave the saw, the blade, everything on the saw, on the track, and swivel it around. This is just a quick demonstration here. You simply loosen the holding bolt on the track foot, lift it up. You can see how it swivels as we come around. This sliding portion can be located anywhere along the track. It doesn't have to be at one end or the other end of the track. We recommend it stays within 18 inches to two feet of the end of the track. And then you would tighten the bolt here to secure. So the other features, the four speed gearbox, which is the only one of its kind in this industry, very small, like I talked about earlier, it's smaller than the size of a softball. You have a, a knob here, it's numbered one, two, three, four. You can either turn it with your fingers or use the eight millimeter Allen or T socket, T wrench. Just turn the, the blade or the flange. We're in second gear now. Turn it another quarter turn, 
We're in third gear. Now we're in fourth gear. This feature allows you to have the precise RPM and deliver the torque needed in whatever gear you are in. Especially with the larger blades going down to first or second gear, you're not gonna lose any horsepower. You're not gonna give up any torque. It's gonna remain constant at the spindle. We all know cutting concrete is a dirty job and things happen, blades jam, uh, anchors pull out of the wall. So what we do in those situations is we try and protect it as much as possible. And what you have here is an actual slip clutch, which is driven by the arm feed motor. So the radial arm rotates. Now, if you encounter a situation where you're spinning a blade and, and something grabs the blade and wants to push the arm back out or push the saw back, we actually have a slip clutch in there so the arm will slip out of the way. You're not gonna snap any keyways, you're not gonna snap the shaft, the, the clutch protects that. So you're down in the cut, blade jams up, there's a violent situation, the arm could actually pop back up, saving you a lot of time and headache with broken gears that aren't gonna happen because we have a slip clutch to protect that part of the system. Some of the accessories available, of course, are additional track feet. We have track stops. We have tracks that are lengths 33, 45, 67, 79, 90, and 11.3 feet. Other accessories are angled track feet. These track feet will mount on top of the angle bracket to tilt the saw at the preferred angle that you need for the job you're doing. One thing I didn't talk about was the roller system, maintenance free. There's no Zerk fittings that you have to grease every day or every week or every year. There are double sealed ball bearings inside of there. There's two bearings in each roller. Most people don't need to adjust the rollers, but maybe two, three times a year. That's a big, big difference from some of the older systems out there where it's a a daily routine or a weekly routine to adjust your roller systems. The extruded aluminum track, you know, again, I'm going to go back to the rigidity part of the system. By extruding the aluminum, the rigidity of this track is unbelievable. We talked about the swiveling track feet, the low maintenance rollers, the extruded aluminum track for ultimate rigidity, the patented quick disc spindle, which you can see from the back side here now. This is your eight millimeter T-handle. Simply loosen this up. It goes about four turns, spindle pops off. Put the, if the blade was on here, you put the blade, set it aside. Flush cutting version of this has six bolts on a four and a half inch pattern, which is a bigger pattern, stronger pattern, and it has a bolt and a nut. So you get much stronger flush cutting application due to the flange of the way it's designed and built. Quick service connection systems. There's terminal blocks in here, easily replaced with just simple hand tools. There is a slip clutch on the input side where the motor attaches. So in one of those events where you're jamming a blade, not only are we gonna protect you mechanically by slipping a clutch electronically in the pit pack, we're gonna shut the motor off when it sees that type of situation. So motor shuts off, travel stops, any inertia left is gonna slip the clutch to protect the system. Speaking of rigidity and roller systems, low maintenance part of our system, we also wanna show you that the bigger the footprint of the roller system, the more rigidity you're going to have. So if you look at this saw, uh, our rollers are approximately 16 inches across and about 8 inches top to bottom. So that gives you a larger footprint, which helps increase rigidity in the system. Same with the radial arm. We got about a 6 inch footprint here. You're not going to see the arm wobbling back and forth from the chassis. Now continuing on about pin to wall saws, we're gonna talk about 
after the purchase of the saw. We'll come out and train you. We have local area salesmen that cover your areas. Um, basic operation of the saw, how to set it up, ease of use, safety features of it. In closing, I'd like to thank you for your time and your patience for watching this video. Um, if you have any questions, ICS's phone number is 800-321-1240. They can direct you to your local area sales manager that are across the country here in the USA. And again, thank you for your attention and we hope you consider purchasing a Pinterest saw.